why is someone for our Nigerian lady when you marry for Ghana all those foreigners? Why did they like to spoil our Nigerian men to deceive all the Nyosha grow all those girls that are coming? Let's go there and let all analyze this matter, my people. This one will shock you today. Let's go there. <laughs> Hello, 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 girl, girl, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel once again. Yes, your girl, your lady is back again with another topic about our Nigerian girls, about our Nigerian lady, and about hmm, Ghana men and Nigerian men. Okay, guys, we're going to analyze this issue of today so that. Our beautiful, those new shagra, those girls that are coming, they are growing up in Nigeria or in diaspora, will not deceive. Let us analyze it together, guys. Before we, you know, we started on this story, my lovely people. Hey, if this is your first time, hmm, don't forget to hit that red button as I hit the notification icon. Always subscribe because you should subscribe anytime I post to be the first person that go to be notified. I will greet all my amazing people, my gorgeous fans all over the world. Yes, so I say kudos to you all for always tuning in, for always supporting this channel. Yes, guys. I say I would come out to give you a boza boza. How it is with the nyana for the channel. Because we know they you know they they talk with you know, you know get head. Would they give you now? Correct, correct, just because you need you people need to know, people need to learn to learn what is really going on in the world. My people, we don't know why I carry this matter I come on the table so that we will learn together now. Every day, we don't know. See, Nigeria now, all Africa, all, uh, all over the world, we all are the same. You can marry for place that's good for you. Nobody say that you know, don't marry what you like. Destiny always be destiny. Where somebody is going, nobody can block it. Let me use myself as an uh, as example. You know, where I'm married today, I don't dream and say, I'll go there, go marry. You understand? My people, wait till come make me breathe this matter, come. Anywhere you find your love, grab them. It's your love. Know that because say, you can't grab your love for there, all where you come from, Nigeria will be spoiling the, the men when they, they will be spoiling their name. Nigerian men is not good. Nigerian men is that. No, like that. For those are not here for Nigerian men. Now, I, I want to stand for them, to speak for them. Based people, both Ghanaian people, everybody, listen to this video. If you see the video, share it. You're going to learn and tell your, your friends. See what happened today. See how Nigerian boys was. Know that Nigeria boys is not respectful. They are so respectful if delay the respect herself. For our country, Nigeria, if you have character, men ready to honor you, ready to respect you with your character, with your attitude. Because what Nigeria may hate, Nigeria may they hate nonsense they don't want women to be you no know, to be take over their lives they need that respect there is lot of ladies when their husband is going to work they will come back home and cook by themselves that is not exist for nigeria man it's not that way our parents train us. If your husband is going somewhere, make sure you cook. You do something that will please your husband. Say your husband, when you get the attitude, when you see the decision with your husband, maybe you walk or you get where they go, you say, let me prepare for my wife. It's not all Nigerian men lazy. Nigerian men is so nice. Ghana man is so nice also. 
Let's talk about Ghanaian men that marry our Nigerian men. Guys, you know that Ghana and Nigeria, they don't speak the same dialect. They don't do the same thing. Also, with Ghanaian men, they need respect. But they know how to be to be patient. But when the patience don't you know is getting hard, that lady no one respect themselves. That's the reason why you see not just Ghana men, lot of men in the world. That's why you see that they used to be wrong and leave their the world that have children for them. This kind of thing happen a lot for diaspora. All those ladies that present themselves that. This Ghana man is a nice man, but he, you like to use the man. Even though the man, they respect him. You like to do something, you know, I don't know how to put it. Because no men, death are done. Both Ghana men, both Nigerian men, they are all the same. They are all human. But we know, say, we... We lady, we need respect also. But respect yourself so that your man will respect you. No say because you come marry for the, another tribe, you deceive another guest. Where they have future to deceive and to where their destiny is not is. If you marry whatever you want to marry, is your luck, is your destiny. No could is come out and destroy the rest people. Men, or you destroy Nigerian men, Nigerian men is no good. Nigerian men is well respectful also, like Ghanaian men. Ghanaian men can cook for their wife. Nigerian men can cook for their wife. So many people know Nigeria. If Nigeria loves you, maybe you don't force yourself into that marriage. They they ready to shower you with all the good thing they have. They ready to stone by you. They say they say with Ghana. Those people that like to destroy Nigerian men image is totally lying and wrong. Okay, guys, for my Ghana friends. Especially you, Liberia, all those um, different, different Africa that are married in Nigeria. Nigeria lady, they are good. Some of them, you also with, you know, everybody, nobody perfect. Nigeria men, they are good. Everybody is equal. We are all black. Even though black or white, we are a human being. We all are, no. We all know you. We all are the same. You can marry whatever you want to marry. Nobody can change destiny. For our lady, you guy that you to be the power of Nigerian men is this that that stop it. Don't marry if you marry Ghana men. Don't spoil Nigerian men for the presence of them. The moment you spoil that Nigerian men for the presence of them, you are spoiling your marriage. They will tell that. And they reject you. That's the reason why you marry for their tribe. Then we think that it's no love that make you marry for their tribe. Please. For all the Nigerian, all of all the Nigerian ladies, all over the world, if you know that you marry different, you, know, you marry for Ghana, all you know, different, you marry for Liberia, whatever you marry. We all are human beings. Don't spare anybody image. I think see a lot of lady, Nigerian lady, all those ladies, both Ghana lady, they are still married. They have little issue. Marriage is patience. You, the, you are the one that are going to be building your home. If you not building your home well, you will have problem. No problem. No problem in marriage cannot solve by the grace of God. If your marriage is not work out for Nigerian men, you don't mean that that man, that man is no good or all men is no good. Maybe your destiny is not there. Maybe your destiny is somewhere else. Maybe is you can I may mean, God know where your destiny is. You can when you will jam your destiny, it's like honing and sugar. 
Let me use this opportunity to talk to our girl also. That I say I don't want to marry the other. You know, I don't want to marry for the other. Uh, I don't want to marry from outside Nigeria. You don't say so. You know, you know where your destiny will lead you to. Anywhere you see your marriage, grab it. Only thing you have to do to make sure your marriage is secure. To make sure you respect your husband. To make sure you respect your husband's family. That is our culture. That is our culture. Because I see one Nigerian lady that cried out about two months ago. That though what it married Ghana, but in character was so dirty. That Ghana was wrong. He leave her and her children. What she not supposed to do here, yeah, I don't like to talk the word here. She did it. When that Ghana man, he opened his eye, what he see is not what he want. He ran away. And the problem also, I will say it in this video. If you marry another country, try to know their family. Some of our girls that marry for outsider. They don't know their family. If that man run, run leave them, that family, then they say will continue be feeding their children. They will they will like their children to be using um their old father father to that children. It's not nice. So guys, this is big advice to our ladies. Marry who you want. God wants you to marry. Marry where your destiny leads you to. But don't spoil, don't spoil where you come from. Home is home. If you want me to respect you, where you marry, who do marry for whatever you want to marry. Always talk about, about your people for good. Always praising your people. So that you will think that where you marry, where you come from, yeah, is a great place. But when you spoil where you come from, then we join you to spoil it. When you see people that come for that place, then we think that oh, that place, everybody is bad. That is not really, really good. This is my message for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please, guys, if you watch my video, don't forget to share this video, like the video, and let me see your comedy comment session, guys. Remember, we are a family. Whatever we say here, we say it's for good. We encourage people and we do something fantastic in this channel. Guys, support this channel, guys. Thank you so much for always being with me, for always sharing, for always watching my video. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so happy and appreciate you all. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.